All right. Um, my YouTube stream was cut off just now and I have no idea why. So I'm going to continue this offline just to finish off everything. Um, we ended up... The stream was cut off just when we finished making our synth. It looks like this. It's called mess. And it has the parameters duration, attack. Opa. Attack, release, freak, amp, panning, and the output. And it's it consists of an envelope generator, a percussive envelope, which is controlling the amplitude of a signal. And that signal is a triangle wave oscillator, which is being scaled by an amplitude here which is sort of a volume control, and then it goes out to an output. So we're going to use the synth and control it using a pattern. So the pattern is going to be inside of a PDEF. A PDEF is a kind of thing that we use to um, be able to live code patterns. And that's that's actually the point of uh, that's the, the whole deal with uh, PDEF. So if we give this a name and we call it mass, uh, it doesn't matter, M, let's just call it M. And then put an object inside that can play patterns. If we just say dot play here, uh, it's going to play the PDEF once we evaluate it. But I'm going to put inside a P bind. And the P bind is the thing that's actually going to generate sound events that will be played uh, with our synth. So. The first parameter I'm going to put in here is instrument. Instrument is uh, where you put the um, yeah the instrument that we just made, uh, and that's the name. We call it mass, uh, and the duration of each note. Let's put in a quarter note, uh, so 0 0.25 beats. And the next parameter I'm going to put in is degree, and let's say zero. And then panning, zero as well. Uh, and let's keep it at that for the moment. So you're probably wondering, what is this degree? Uh, degree, uh, and that's a th really nice trick with uh, p-binds, because in our synth here, we use frequency. That's the frequency is defining the pitch of our... Um, it's, well, it's defining the frequency at which the oscillator is playing, but that in turn defines what a pitch uh, we're playing a note at. But the, p the frequency itself is calculated automatically by the p-bind. Uh, we can directly say freak and then control the frequency if that's what we want to do, but rarely that's the case. Instead, we can use uh, make use of uh, this inbuilt functionality where we can use scales and uh, use scales to... Um, control the synth and when we use scales like actual scale degrees uh, it's going to calculate the actual frequency of it uh, using scale degree and uh, octave actually and let's add octave here as well uh, those are the two main uh, things that we're going to use here so it's going to play a the first scale degree which is zero and the, f the sixth octave which is five so let's try and hear what that sounds like Okay. Aha. Okay, we already have an error here because we defined pan, but it's not really doing anything. It's just always in the left ear. And that's because we didn't actually use our panning, uh, our, our little pan uh, parameter here. We're going to add that to our synth now and say, let's say, pan the signal here. This is a signal. Sig equals pan to dot ar. Sig is the first thing we're going to pass in here. Position pan, and then the rest we can get rid of. All right, let's add this again. See if it worked. It did, and let's try and play it again. Now the sound is in the middle, and if I change pan to one, it goes all the way. In my ear over here, probably, and you, for you it's the other way around. Let's say minus one, and then change the side. So this thing actually works now. And we're actually now playing our synth that we created. 
And uh, to have a bit more fun, we're going to use uh, patterns inside of each of these parameters. So for example, for duration, we can add delete this uh, 0 0.25 beats and replace it with a sequence. And let's add a simple sequence going for one quarter beats, then uh, resting for a quarter beat, and then playing for, uh, uh, what is that, 0 0.125 beats, and then starting over. All right. Let's add another note here at the end. Let's make it a bit longer, it's half beat. And then rest again for maybe half a beat. And then let's play around with the panning as well. The pan, you can control using P white. P white is a white noise sort of generator. It's just, it's just a fancy th word for something that gives us random values between one point and another point. And these two points are minus one to one, which are the two extremes of the panning parameter. So now it's gonna jump around. For the, for the scale degree, let's add a sequencer as well. Zero, four, five, that's a cute little melody. Add inf here. It's starting to sound cute here. Let's change the release here. Let's make it a bit longer. 0, 1.5. It was 0 0.9 by default. Now they all get a bit more of a tail. And if we want this duration to, if you want the whole thing to go a bit faster, we can say, uh, we can make all of these durations shorter by simply saying 0 0.5 times p sec. And let me just clean up this little sequence a bit because it actually sounds pretty terrible. Let's try it like this. Yeah? We now have a pattern and it's playing our little synthesizer. That's it for today, I think. Uh, I'm gonna st stay, stick with that and then not jinx it too much. Um, I hope to see you next time.